Hello my friends, welcome to my another video. This time we are going to make a model of this beautiful T10 in 1 to 70 second scale from Trumpeter. I recently bought this kit and wanted to share my uh, experience with it with the world so yeah, definitely gonna make more model videos in the future, but this is the first one. It's gonna be a pretty much a test video because I'm also gonna test some, uh, uh, well, some uh, stuff on this kit, like some techniques. And there is probably not gonna be a painting video because, well, the uh, lighting in my room is not suited for making such video right now. I'm gonna try to change it, but if I don't before a next model video, I'm gonna show the finished product in that video. <clears throat> we can look in, uh, at the contents of the kit at least before we do that. We have a, a, a typical uh, trumpeter man manual and few sprues. There is really just a tiny bit of plastic. All of these parts and the photo edge you'll see used in the video is stolen from other kits where I didn't use it. So, yeah, from looking at the parts, they're really nice. I'm pretty sure you could build this kit without any modifications, but I wanna test some, as I said, I wanna test some techniques and stuff. So we're gonna modify this vehicle <coughs> after some real world pictures. I will show while building it. So yeah, the parts are molded in light gray plastic and that's basically all I can say. It's a 2021 release, so it's a great kit for beginners as well. Yeah, we're gonna switch to narrated footage now because it's really awkward to talk like this. So first I started off with cutting the parts out with my scissors. You can also use sharp side cutters, but I don't have those unfortunately. The tracks had sprue gates in between the wheels, so I needed to cut them out. This was done quickly with my hobby knife. Then I started working on the spring mechanism parts, that, I don't, that go behind the swing arms. They were pretty small and fiddly, but it wasn't super hard to add them on. The biggest problem probably was that there was a decent amount of them, like a lot. I glue the parts with Revel Contact Glue, which has really easy to use applicator. Then I dry fitted the wheels and I found out there is a knob on them which helps with positioning. I added them on. And then I did some glue. And then came the return rollers, which were very small. And then I dry fitted the tracks, and they fit perfectly. So the lower hull is finished. Then I started working on the upper... Hull. 
So I decided I wanted to add some damage to the vehicle, like on this picture, which shows this vehicle without entire mudguard. I did that very easily by cutting off the mudguard and then getting rid of the excess plastic with my hobby knife. I also thin down the plastic around the mudguard to possibly add some realism. And I also cut off a small portion of the second mudguard as well. Because I also found the reference photo for that. Then it was just a matter of gluing all the parts that are needed to be glued on to the upper hull. And I had some old field drums from an academic kit that were a bit bigger than the ones in the kit. So I used them just like in this picture. Russian vehicles had very uh, visible cast texture, so I recreated with Tamiya Patti, diluted with modeling cement. I just take a stiff brush, dip it in and stipple it onto the turret, which creates this very nice texture after, it's, after it dries. This was the first time I was using this technique, and I was very pleased with the result. And then it was just a matter of gluing together parts for the turret, which wasn't hard at all. And I also added some wires from copper, but I forgot to record it, because I'm an idiot. But you can see me bending them to add some real After that I'm going to work on the 14.5mm cannon on top of the turret. It was, this was weirdly fiddly and I don't really understand why. Anyway, that's basically all for this building video, so I wanna thank you for watching it. It was my first attempt in making this kind of video and I know it's not perfect so please let me know what I should change. Here is the finished model, well, without colors.